Hey gang, Scott here. I've got a tip for you in Lightroom about measuring the before and after look of individual adjustments. You know, things where we've done our basics, we like that, and we're starting to add refinements to the look of our photo. And we want to be able to take a look at, you know, what did that last adjustment that I did, what did that do for my image? Did it help? Did it hurt? I don't want to do a full backslash to see the uh, previously untouched image and resetting sliders might work, might not. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can do this and I got an image that will work well for us here. This image I've done some of my processing already and I'm starting into localized adjustments for certain things and I tend to use a lot of radial filters when I do that. So if I hover over here you're going to see you know, there's a few points already on the screen. Like this one here, uh, I've treated, and you can see the settings. I've added a little exposure there, kind of with a, a luminance range mask, giving that window a little more of a glow. Down in the lower corner, you know, I've done some burning to darken some of the shadows. And for like this right here, uh, I've added some you know, clarity, a little crispness, some boost in contrast. Just trying to you know accent or you know push visually back certain areas of the scene. And I'm getting ready to like, you know, use these as uh, little like templates of my uh, radial filters and do this in other spots. And so, um, for example, I'll copy or duplicate this one here. And I want to do the same thing over here and just add a little more accent there. Okay, cool. And now if I wanted to say, all right, well, what did that just do for my image? Well, I, I can delete the pin and then undo it. That's one method. Um, I could try to reset the entire adjustment and undo it, you know, before double clicking on effect, after. You know, that works. Um, or I could use my history and snapshots. And when I start to get beyond one adjustment, um, that's where I find the history and snapshots really helpful. So let me show you how this works here. Right? So, um, so let me go and open the history area and we can see I've got some other snapshots from a previous copy of this photo but right here um, I duplicated an adjustment and we can see that that's here undo and then I updated it which means I moved it on the screen so right there that is where I accented let's say the right hand barrels what I can do is I right click and I create a snapshot and let's just call it right hand barrels, okay? And so I'm doing that, and then um, let's go back to our editing here, like this burning that I did down in this lower corner, lower left, let me duplicate that. I wanna do that same thing kind of in this kind of back corner of this armory here. You know, kind of tuck that in there. So I'm darkening this 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 back corner here the luminance range mask is going to help protect some of these foreground elements I'm just kind of pushing that corner visually there now notice as i did all those adjustments there are a whole bunch of update 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 filters this is when i duplicated the filter and this is all those little changes i made i just finished all that i'll right click and create a snapshot and say let me call that um, just back corner okay so now if I want to compare, you know, what did these adjustments do for me? Uh, first off, I don't even need my controls open anymore. You know, this was my original and I can even create a snapshot of my original or I can maybe say base adjustments. And now I can just work up in my snapshots. Okay, here's my base adjustments. Let me see what happened when I added in the right hand barrels. I see a small change. What happened when I added the back corner? I see a small change. How does that compare to the whole thing? Base adjustments, back corner, and you can start to play these games. Uh, you can focus your attention mostly on the back corner because that's where you'll see an, you know, an actual visual adjustment there. But this is how uh, you can use the history and the snapshots to give you a quicker access to before and after, uh, especially if you get to a certain stage of your editing, you really like what you have, and then you're you're kind of doing experiments. Create a snapshot at that point, you know, and just you know, call it whatever you want, whatever makes sense. That becomes your baseline, and then everything else above it, you can create any number of snapshots that you need, 
And it also gives you a nice quick rollback point in case uh, your experimentation or your exploration goes in a direction that you're not happy with. I hope you found the video useful. Any other questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.